Is there a way one of Pakistan's friends could rescue it? You know, the ones who've been handing out these loans. The one often called Pakistan's iron brother. Why isn't China coming to Pakistan's rescue? Because China has bigger fish to fry at the moment. China has its own economy to worry about. It may be staring at a recession. This week, a crisis meeting was called in Beijing. More than 100,000 officials participated. The meeting was chaired by the Chinese Premier, Li Keqiang. What did they discuss? How to save China's economy? China, the great economic powerhouse, the world's second largest economy, is faltering. Blame zero COVID and its mastermind, Xi Jinping. Extended lockdowns have taken their toll. Thousands of workers have been laid off. Businesses have been forced to shut down. China's economy today is performing worse than it was in 2020, worse than when the pandemic first began. China's economy, in fact, is expected to contract. Beijing had set a growth target of 5.5% this year, 5.5%. That is not going to happen. According to one estimate, China will grow at 4.5% this year. That's a loss of 1%. And 4.5% is quite low by Chinese standards. It will be the slowest growth since the Cultural Revolution. This is Xi Jinping's gift to China. Chinese Premier Li had more bad news to share. A transcript of his address is being circulated on the Chinese internet. Li Keqiang did not mince his words. He said that China has suffered three setbacks. Number one, China's economic indices are at record lows. Number two, the national and local government budgets have shrunk. And number three, there is barely any hope for recovery in the month of May. In other words, the Chinese economy is in deep trouble and the Chinese Premier is saying it in so many words. In fact, he's been speaking quite candidly these days and that's noteworthy in a country like China. Earlier this month, he'd issued a grave assessment. This one was about, the, about employment in China. He said that the job situation is quote-unquote complicated and grave. In fact, I have that statement with me. This is what he says. This is the Chinese Premier. Stabilizing employment is critical to people's livelihood and is the key support for the economy to run within a reasonable range. That's way too honest for someone who works under Xi Jinping. So what's happening here? Is Chinese Premier Li Keqiang challenging the authority of Xi Jinping? There is intense speculation and it's being fueled by mixed messages from Beijing. In recent weeks, Xi Jinping has doubled down on zero COVID. He says little about China's economic hardships. Official reports from Beijing ignore the subject too. The Chinese president has been issuing warnings to officials. He says dissent against zero COVID will not be tolerated. But the premier, Li Keqiang, completely ignores zero COVID. He makes no mention of it in his statements. Instead, he keeps sounding an alarm. He is pushing officials to do more to preserve jobs and help businesses. And in some instances, he has directly challenged Xi Jinping's policies. The Communist Party's official mouthpiece, the People's Daily, had published a speech by Premier Li recently. Almost the entire speech was about the economy, how the Chinese economy should be rebuilt, how China needs to commit to the principles of the market, why the tax burden needs to reduce, and why there's a need to support small and medium-sized businesses. That's what Premier Li talked about. There's now even a term for his ideas. They call it Lee Economics. It's a spin on the Chinese Premier's name, Lee Economics. Now, Lee Economics is in direct contradiction to what Xi Jinping wants. He wants what he calls common prosperity. He wants more equal distribution of wealth. It's a good cause, but the problem is the execution. Xi Jinping tried to achieve common prosperity by targeting the private sector. A range of fines, new regulations and crackdowns were unleashed. The private sector, remember, is, was the most productive part of the Chinese economy. Xi Jinping cracked down on it. It has now stagnated. Consider this statistic. Chinese companies are trading at a 45% discount today in comparison to American companies. Now the Chinese Premier is rushing to the rescue. Li Keqiang has announced a 33-point plan to stabilize the Chinese economy. He's promising financial stimulus, things like tax refunds, tax cuts, and fee reductions for these companies. So here are some questions. Are Xi Jinping and Li Keqiang at odds with each other? Is the Chinese Premier against zero COVID? Is Xi Jinping losing his grip or being challenged openly? Let me also tell you this. Even if there are differences, the Communist Party will never make a public admission. But the second most powerful man in China is speaking his mind and he's clearly at odds with the president. That counts for a lot. We'll be tracking this story closely.
Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.